friends, it's Christina and Dino, the Jasinski home team at Berkshire Hathaway here in LaGrange. And um, I just wanna welcome you to this episode of House History. Today we are featuring the iconic Dietrich Mansion located at 112 South Charlton Street in Willow Springs. Um, this is my newest listing and it's going on the market tomorrow. So I thought what better time to feature it on House History. So a little background, uh, the home was built by Colonel Henry Dietrich in 1872. It was one of five models that they put up at the time. So uh, Colonel Dietrich had been in the Civil War. When that ended, he went into real estate. He had an office in the city with some partners and they got the idea to promote the Mount Forest area to people coming from the city. They wanted to show people in the city what they could do out in the country, right? So there was nothing out there yet. And they decided to put up these five model homes. So they were all kind of in close proximity and similar in style, but all a little bit different, but kind of in the Victorian um, architecture style. So the Dietrich Mansion is the only one standing today of all of those unfortunately. So it is really a gem and really an important part of Willow Springs history and really the western suburbs history as well. So we really want to historically preserve this home. Um, and so today I invite you to come along with me as we take a look at the history of the Dietrich Mansion. Henry Dietrich, retired Union Army Colonel, and a group of partners founded the Mount Forest Land Company, located at 143 LaSalle Street in Chicago. In 1872, they purchased 300 acres in what is now the southern section of Willow Springs to create a subdivision. They convinced the Chicago, Alton, and St. Louis Railroad to make Mount Forest the first suburban stop on the Chicago to Joliet line. Charlton Street was named after the railroad president's son in order to persuade him to put in the railroad stop. The Dietrich Mansion was the first house built in Willow Springs of five and is the only one still standing today. So Henry Dietrich sold the home to S.K. Martin, Chicago's Lumber King, around 1882. And in around 1900, Martin sells it to Frederick Hampson, who is the Willow Springs Village trustee from 1924 to 1929, and it remained in his family until his daughter, Mrs. Jessie Hampson Fitzpatrick, a school teacher in Chicago, sold it to the Lithuanian artist Vladis Vidakunis and his wife. They made a promise that they would keep it as close to the original blueprint as they could when they bought it from uh, Jesse Fitzpatrick. And mind you, the house was in quite a bit of disrepair by this time, uh, didn't have electricity or indoor plumbing, and this is the, uh, the 60s. So Vitacunas had a lot of work cut out for him, uh, but they did update it, they had electric put in and plumbing and it was used as their primary residence and also as his art studio and um, I think they may have rented out the servants quarter area of the house at that time as well. Um, they had a prestigious art show actually held um, in the home on the hundredth anniversary of the house uh, it, the exhibit was put on by the Belzikas Lithuanian Museum, and it was kind of a big deal. Um, so it's kind of a cool little fact. But the Vitacunises retired to Florida in 1975 and sold the house to Edward Schmidt, who in turn sold it to the last owner, Joe Kotel, in 1983. Now, on its 150th birthday, this amazing home is looking for its new owner to restore her to her former So one owner. of my favorite features of this home is the amazing millwork, the woodworking that is done. If you can see these um, amazing pocket doors 
that this home has these are a little bit sticky so I don't want to mess around with them too much but I mean they're just so dramatic the woodwork is in amazing condition for how old this house is I mean it was built in 1872 so um, there used to be oil lamps that were affixed right here actually until not that long ago which was kind of a cool vintage feature I wish they were still here but yeah I mean these doors are amazing these ceilings in this parlor there's actually two parlors one right across the foyer and I'll show you that in a minute but these are like 13 uh, foot ceilings so I mean it's it's dramatic they're beautiful and then over here we have one of three um, Italian marble fireplaces so there's one in here in the front parlor one in the other parlor and then there's one in the formal dining room so one of the interesting features of this home is this mural that's on the kitchen wall um, so this was painted by a pretty well-known Lithuanian artist who lived in the home in the 60s and 70s. I think they were here till like 78 maybe. And he was using the home for his residence but also his art studio. And there were actually some pretty significant art shows that were held here at the time. And so this is one of the remaining pieces from that time. And I think it's really well preserved, all things considering. And it's just really unique and interesting, kind of a cool thing here. So now I'm here in the second parlor, which is just across the foyer from the one we were just in. And again, you can see we have another beautiful Italian marble fireplace in beautiful condition. Um, floors are beautiful for this old of a house over here. Now keep in mind we're up on the bluff in Willow Springs. So when you come over here to these, and these are original windows, okay, so keep that in mind too. When you open up your shutters, you're looking down and the views are amazing. So when you open these, all of these up, these big beautiful windows, it is just gorgeous looking down on the whole town. It's one of my favorite things about this house. So now I'm here in the foyer, so the entryway in the front of the house. Um, I'm not gonna open these doors because we've got shutters in the little foyer area, but you would enter here and then you have these big, grand, beautiful wood pocket doors that are in impeccable condition. And then you have your grand sweeping staircase, 18 stairs up. Um, and it's just a beautiful, dramatic entryway, which, I mean, who doesn't love that, right?
If you are interested in further information on this truly unique home, please feel free to reach out to me at 708-220-5082, or you can visit the Flag Creek Heritage Society or the Willow Springs Historical Society for further information and details on the history of this wonderful home.